Today, I'm pleased to welcome Brian Bourne, who's the Assistant City Manager with the City of Monroe in North Carolina. Good morning, Brian. I hope you're well. Well, good morning, Jeff. Very well. Doing very well here in Monroe. Yeah, I love your background there. You, you were telling me earlier, that's the downtown. That is our downtown area in Monroe. Well, not all of it, but a, a good portion of it. And the uh, old historic county courthouse is kind of right behind me. Very cool. Yeah, I, I looked at some pictures on your website. It looks like a beautiful area. It's right outside Charlotte, I believe, or close to Charlotte. Yes, uh, it, it's actually east of Charlotte, about 17, 20 miles east of Charlotte. Yeah, probably at one of those growing areas, it, but it a beautiful is. location. And thank you for sharing a few moments today to talk about how you maintain buildings and facilities there in Monroe. And that's what we want to talk about, cleaning and maintenance of buildings. As a city manager, no doubt you're involved with choosing and vetting uh, cleaning contractors and other contractors that work on your buildings. We'd love to get your perspective. Um, what do you look for in a building service contractor when you're when you're awarding contracts? Well, I, I like to look for um, someone that's going to uh, do a good job, be on time. Um, I, I don't want to get phone calls and complaints. Um, they know what our hot spots are. Uh, you know, with the city, you have city hall, council chambers, reception areas, or customer service areas um, that are very high use, high visibility. So, of course, those are priority areas for us. And we have some specialized um, facilities like a theater or science center or an aquatics uh, and fitness center that need um, special attention or different types of uh, cleaning or, or cleaning detail. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a, a broad range and it's a, a wide area um, because we have a number of physical facilities around the city that they would be responsible for. So it's a big job for any cleaning company to take the city of Monroe on. Well, I know one company that did, did that is Green's Commercial Cleaning. They clean many buildings in your city. Uh, the list includes City Hall, uh, the police and fire department, some, the executive terminal at the airport, among mm -hmm. others. And this company is SIM certified, which is the Clean Industry Management Standard Certification from ISSA, which is the Worldwide Cleaning Industry Association. Did, did their SIM certification play into you choosing them to work for the city of Monroe? That certification uh, means uh, a big deal. Um, it shows that they live up to a standard um, in that industry. Uh, and uh, we have, uh, like I said, a lot of facilities and there's a lot of demands and a lot of different levels of cleaning that are expected. And uh, Greens has always been able to uh, meet those. And if there's a, ever a problem, they're, they're right out to address it very quickly. Um, yeah, well, that's important. Uh, my last question is, it'll, this will be of interest to any cleaning contractor because mm -hmm. uh, every cleaning contractor wants to grow their business, get, and get more jobs. If a cleaning company were to land a meeting with you, sitting across the desk from you, Brian, Mm -hmm. And they wanted to attempt, they attempted to talk you to you about hiring them. What would you want them to say? Um, I, I could tell you, I don't want to hear it is big promises that, that will not be kept. Um, I, I need the job done and I need it done right. The first time uh, they have to have the qualified staff to back them up and do the work. Um, because without that, um, staff that you can trust uh, and that have been trained uh, to do the work. So um, it would be hard to convince me otherwise. Now, being a government, we have to put things out to bid. Uh, but we had a pretty comprehensive um, requirements um, when we do that. Mm -hmm. Very specific duties. So. Uh, we, we hold them to a high standard, as does any of our employees that um, receive their services in our buildings. 
Well, Brian, it's great to get some thoughts from you because a lot of cleaning contractors, they want to get in front of folks like you Mm -hmm. and, and explain what they do. And it sounds like you want to hear the right things, the staffing, the qualifications, certifications, all of that play into it. But it sounds like you're in a good spot with your current cleaning company. So we are. We are. Barry and Green's Cleaning have done a fabulous job over the years they've served us. Well, thank you, Brian, for your time today. Well, thank you.